I'm a lumberjack and I'm okay. I sleep all night and I work all day. <laughs> well, I got a bit of a predicament that I have, yeah. My wood uh, is all wonky, yes. I have some wonky wood and I like to remove my wonky wood from my wood. Anyway, how am I going to do that? Am I going to use a gentleman saw? <laughs> no. It's too gentlemanly like. Am I going to use my hacksaw? No. It's too uh, hacksaw like. Am I going to use a back saw even? No. That's not how you do it. I'm going to use my Beyond <laughs> battery powered chainsaw. And this was sent to me by Ali Man Tools. Now, I ain't tried it yet, no. I am going to prepare this uh, beautiful tool, mm -hmm. and then use it to remove my wonky wood uh, uh, from my wood. So, we have <coughs> this uh, Beyond Yong 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 Yong. Anyway, I don't know how to pronounce it, I apologise. <laughs> Is it Beyond? Oh, I don't know. Anyway, it's a chainsaw. And not any old hand chainsaw, no. Now, if you're in the UK, for instance, if you have a single-handed chainsaw, I don't know if it applies to this, but maybe someone can tell me. You have to have a licence. Yeah, you've got to be qualified to use a single-handed chainsaw in case you chop your arm off. Yeah, a double-handed chainsaw where you have two handles, you don't have to have a licence. No. They even purchase the blooming thing. No. This is single-handed. It's a bit of a weapon. I don't, oh, 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 uh, anyway, one must play. So, it comes with two batteries. Let me go grab the other one. Oh, it's over here. Oh, crikey. I put it on charge just in case, but it was already charged. So nothing happened. Now, what you get, you get two batteries, you do. That one, all right? And you get that one uh, as well. And they have a little battery gauge what's on each battery, see? And it says it's fully charged. Yeah, fully, fully charged it is. So I don't think I need to charge it up anyway. So it comes with not one, not two, but three chains. So you won't need to buy a chain for a little while, especially if you learn how to sharpen them. This would require a very, very tiny, tiny, saw, you know, chainsaw file, because that is, yeah, got tiny teeth. Yeah, like tiny tin, tiny teeth. Well, in this wonderful package, this blow molded uh, yeah, box you get, it also comes in this sleeve, which you can use for, I don't know what you can do with it. Anyway, it comes in this blow molded box, it comes with instructions, destructions that it do. Now, something I'm interested in is about the charger. Don't tell me about the charger, because how long does it take to charge? How long does it take to charge? Uh, uh, I can't see it. Because the reason why I say that is the charger itself is tiny. And it plugs in like that. That, that, that tells me that ain't going to be many amps. No. And these batteries are, are they two amp hour batteries? Yeah, two amp hour batteries. So if they're two amp hour batteries, they've got a one amp hour charger. It's going to take two hours to charge, isn't it? Using that battery charger. I imagine. So, I wouldn't be surprised you could get a fast charger for it, but that certainly is not a fast charger. Anyway, it comes with it. That's what you get. Now, I suppose the thing is designed so you, you've got a quick tool, you just snip them out. Oh, do you like that limb? No. And you chop it off. Not the missus limb. No. I'm talking about a tree, an arbor. Yeah. You've got a bit sticking out in the road. I don't know, you want to whip off quickly. Well, it has a 15 centimetre, six inch bar. That it does. And it has this funny thing on the top, flappy thing. It's like, do -na, do -na, do -na. oh, God, don't play. Anyway, so that's obviously a guard so you don't chop your fingers off. I suppose it's quite a good idea, really. But also, they give you these gloves. Now, I don't know if these are chainsaw gloves, because I very much doubt it. If they are, I'll be surprised. Oh, no, I very much doubt it. They're like, like, they're like woolly gloves. Yeah, chainsaw gloves are like, you know, like man gloves. Ones where you can't move your fingers when you're wearing them. It's one of the reasons I can't wear gloves a lot of the time, because I just have a carpal tunnel syndrome. I had the operation, but it's not perfect. But it made a big difference, mine. A big improvement. So, yeah, it wouldn't... I don't generally wear gloves, if I can help it. No. 
Definitely not going to help it. Besides, I've got, I've got big hands. I'm size 10 hands, me. These are... These aren't chainsaw gloves, they're woody gloves. Oh, anyway, they come with gloves. It's nice of them to supply some gloves, so your hands don't get cold. But I don't think these are chainsaw gloves, as you would know they're not. Because chainsaw gloves work, basically, they've got all these fibres inside them. And you catch it, you better chop your hand off, all right? Uh, yeah, you better chop your hand off, all right? Uh, 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 it falls off. Well, if you're wearing these, I'm sure your hand will still get chopped off. But, they'll keep your hands warm. Chainsaw gloves have fibres in them. What happens is the fibres get caught around the chain and the chain should cease pretty much all, yeah, straight away. Where that's good, especially with petal chainsaws, where you see, with something like this, when you let go of it, it's going to stop. When you let go of a petal chainsaw, it will carry on running. It might go to tick over, but it'll carry on running. And if you've got it set up right, you know, the clutch is set up right, that chain could still be turning and chewing. And they're laying there. You can't move and you've got a leg right up there with a chainsaw laying on it, just gnawing at it. Slowly, because still going, yeah, don't do that. Set your chains up, saws up correctly. Now, it comes with some safety specs. I like these ones, these are Vision Net um, safety specs. The reason why I wear these all the while is because they're corrected and they're verifocal as well. They're good, you know, they're not cheap, they're well, not expensive either, but uh, about 40 euro. Well, they come with some safety specs. I have to admit. These are darn sight better than what you usually get. You get those full on goggles that steam up and what and they like all misshape and they cut into your face. Um, these come with like, you know, safety specs with little sides on. Get a decent pair, you know? You've got to protect your eyes, for Christ's sake, you know? <laughs> anyway, no further ado, uh, we'll get to it. Okay, you get a screwdriver with it, you get the free change, you get a pair of gloves. <laughs> Sorry, that's just funny. I don't know why. It just makes me tickle. And two batteries and a charger. I would have liked to have seen the fast charger. But saying that, this tool here, it, it, when I was looking earlier, I think it's 89 or 99 um, do, uh, euros or dollars. So it is cheap, you know, two batteries and that as well. And I am quite excited about it because it's going to be immensely uh, convenient. If I'm in the workshop and I just want to... Uh, like, for has got a bit of rough sawn timber, weighing aged and what have you. Stretch, you know, slab sawn off, off the tree. And I just want to cut it to, um, to length. I just grab this and go, and it's done. You know? It'll be quick, easy, and convenient. If, for instance, like I mentioned earlier, if there's a limb I want to remove off a tree. Handy. You know, a bit of pruning and what have you. If you've got your fruit trees, you've got to prune your fruit trees. That could be really, really handy. Because it's, cut, it's hat in the hand. Yeah, anyway, before you use anything like a chainsaw, yeah, nine times out of ten, in fact, probably every single time out of ten, um, you're going to need to put some oil in, in there. That doesn't come with oil, so you need to get yourself some, some chainsaw oil. Generally, it's SA, uh, I think it's 30. Uh, if you've got some classic engine oil, it'll do the same job. Now, I know some people will put um, uh, all the car engine oil in, yeah, multi-grade or something like that. I, I haven't had much experience, so I've never done it, so I can't really comment. But the, oh, it's messy. What you want is a little funnel. That would be something, be a really good idea to include in the set. In this, yeah, it's a little funnel so you can get your oil in. Because all I've done is made a mess. Yeah, that's, that's so far, that's, that's not helpful. I'm still excited though, as you can probably tell. Now, um, <laughs> what I need is something I can use. All right, let's, let's, get, let's get clever, all right? I've got a bit of cardboard here. Yeah, so this is a long form video anyway, so it don't matter, do it? I'm gonna cut that. It's a bit of cardboard. Yeah, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting all ingenuitive down here, you know? I know you can't see, but yeah, you, you will in the mo. All right, what we're gonna do is create a funnel. Yeah, so if you haven't got a funnel hand, this will suffice. It's a bit of card, and now I'm gonna push that in the hole. Gotta push it in the hole, you know. And now we're gonna do it, hopefully, it won't make such a bit of a mess. It's quite a small hole to get into, you see. Yeah. I wish that's what I told the missus. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, I filled it up. It's all oily in there now, okay? I filled up the chainsaw. Now you must have oil in the chainsaw because it lubricates the chain, you see. There'll be a little tiny pump and that'll pump oil behind this area here onto the chain. Now when you first use this, you might get a bit, a little bit of time for the oil to start working its way through. I need to wipe the excess oil off of it, it's everywhere. 
Right, what can I use? I need a rag. I need a rag. Oh, here's one that'll do. I'll use a new one then. Okay. Ah, I say it's new, it's an old towel, but there you go. So wipe off the old oil, what happens is any sawdust will just stick to the oil and remember there's electric, so you've got a switch here, you're, you're like going in there and that bit of sawdust sticking to it and it'll just end up in the right old mess and your tool stops working because the switch can't make contact. Right, so far so good. We have the oil and we have this little primer pump here. Oh, that's interesting. Has it got a pump or does it expect to pump all the while? That's obviously for the oil, it's not for the um, petrol because there ain't any petrol, you know, gas or... Uh, essence here in France. Right, squeezing it up there. It's going in. I can feel it now. So you've got a primer, which is a good idea. So if it's a tool that you're not using very often, you've got to prove. No, you've got to prime your tool. So you lube your tool. Yeah, I was about to say something else, but, but yeah, I can't say that on there. No. I think I might be there. Right, I think I primed it. I think so. I think so. Right. Shall we insert its power source? I think so. Into the drill. That was our drill into the chainsaw. There you go, it's in. All right. Now, there's no plastic guards to remove because you've got this thing. <laughs> I don't know how long that's going to last or how long I can put up with it, but we'll see. If you know me, I've got, I've got a nasty habit. Yeah, like I say, say it, do as I say and not as I do, of removing guards I have, you say. I like to see the thing that's going to bite me. I know when it's coming, I do. But that's my, my personal point of view. I'm not suggesting that's what you do. No. Definitely not. I'll get, I'll get told off. Mm -hmm. There's people on this channel, they like to tell me off as well, you know. So anyway, <laughs> we have our chainsaw with the battery inserted. It has its guard uh, all there. That's it. Ah, one other thing. What about chain tension? Is the tension okay? Yeah, it was actually, yeah, it is okay. How do you adjust the tension? Is it automatic on this? That is another valid point. I think it probably is looking at this. Yes, it is. You loosen that and then you'd tighten the outer ring and that tightens the chain. See? Yeah, it's tight now. And then tighten that back up again. Be gentle with that sort of thing. Those sort of things that usually fail on these things, I, I, you know, I'd imagine. I don't know because I've only just opened it. So, anyway, you've got to push the button on the side, so like a lock button on the side there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have fun with that, I'll tell you. Anyway, shall we see whether or not I can remove my uh, knobbly wood from my wood? Yeah, I did. I ought to put this in the vice, but I'm not going to. No. Because it wouldn't be in the vice if it was out in the boat, outside, would it? No. It would attach the tree probably, but we'll see. We're going to try and remove this. It's probably about two and a half, three inches, about 70 odd mil in diameter. It's all about the girth, you know! <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Bit of marital advice for you and a warning. Don't take this to bed. Because if the missus finds that you've got lipstick on your collar, well, you're not going to wake up with your member. No! It'll be out of mess. If I've stitched back on again. You would, that is, yeah. Anyway, <laughs> give it a go, shall we? <laughs> oh, one thing I don't like, there's no, uh, oh, I don't know what they call them, like, grapoids? <laughs> I don't know, like spiky bits there, metal spiky bits. It's all plastic there, so I'm not that keen on that bit. That's my personal point of view, my feeling. <laughs> Cuts wood! Well, you see, this piece of wood here is actually semi seasoned. This, it was cut, that, cut this year. So um, it's, it's actually not that wet. Now, green wood with chainsaws cut a lot easier. They'd be a lot faster with, um, with green timber. Like you would do normally with a chainsaw, but the fact that it's going through that, it's quite it's hard wood, you see. It's, it's quite hard timber. Go right. again, shall we? Don't put your hands in the blade like I just did. No. Or chain. It's obviously got some sort of load switch on there. What's the battery like on this? It's on three. Um, that's the one that hasn't. That was on four minute ago. So I don't know how long the battery's going to last. Well, it's two amp hours. So it's not going to last that long. Um, 
But it works, doesn't it? You know? And that, that sort of money, the I think it's worth the convenience. If you just want to just nip a little bit off, and you're done, you know? Or even roofing. You know, or whip some, or you know, demolition, you just whip a few uh, rafters or studs out. Something like that could be really, really handy. The only thing I would suggest is find a, another charger. I don't know if these are standard batteries or not, so you could use a standard charger. I was like, it's a uh, uh, 21 volt, which is an odd voltage. Personally, it's an odd voltage, but, um, get a 20 watt charger, 20 watt charger, probably still charge it, to be honest. So anyway, um, that's my point of view, and that's my feeling about it, and uh, so far, I'm quite happy. Now, I'm going to have a play about with this. I'll be making some more videos with this beyond. Remember, this is a sponsored video. No money has changed hands. They just send it over to me to have a play. Yeah. And I'm quite happy, because I, I didn't have to pay for it, you see, so it's pretty cool. So, um, let's say you get that, you get that, you get those. <laughs> Gloves, I don't get that. Pairs, uh, goggles, free chains, but also get yourself a chainsaw file to fit and then how to sharpen them because you're just, yeah. There you go, and these chains are probably so flipping cheap you might decide not to, you might decide to buy a whole load of chains so that they're not, they're not expensive. You obviously get a charger, not so keen on the charger, I'd like to see a fast charger. You get a manual, it's got very little stuff in it, doesn't even tell me how long, or I couldn't see it, have another look. let's have another look. How long does it take to charge? Because I couldn't see it in there. Uh, and it's got weird text, it, yeah, and it's all in capitals. <laughs> what the hell? Why would it be all in capitals? That's bizarre. Um, da, 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 the pack is a 68F77, the battery must be placed in a well-ventilated area for charging. Uh, short circuit, don't spell. Oh, it's just warnings about, don't, don't, just don't have a bath with the battery, it's saying here. Uh, please do not expose the battery to extreme conditions such as high temperature or impact, cause injury uh, due to electrolyte leakage. But the lithium ion batteries, would they be electrolyte? Oh, I don't know. They wouldn't be electrolyte. These aren't, they're not lead acid batteries, are they? Oh, anyway. No, it's like the lithium batteries, it says on there, lithium. Would there be electrolytes, lithium batteries? Maybe someone could tell me in the comments down below. Yeah, it doesn't actually tell you how long it takes to charge. <laughs> That, okay, that, that's a bit silly, but there you go. Thing, uh, in a day. It's cheap as chips, and I don't have to pay for it anyway. So why should I complain? Um, but I'm going to fun with it, I'll tell you. So it's time for me to go, so I say, toodaloo, you know. And I'll leave a link in the description as well for this particular tool, if you are interested in, in giving, it a, you know, giving it a go. Um, I don't think it's an affiliate link I've got anything like that for, but, you know, see, won't we? See what, what, how it pans out. And I will be doing plenty of videos with it, I'm sure. Because it looks like fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, Caroline! Come here!